Hi, my name is Dan Salinger. I'm a photographer and director located in Portland, Oregon. Today I'm going to share a video with you lit by Felix. This video consists of a series of vignettes, and I used iconic objects from the 80s and 90s, specifically things that I recall from my childhood, so yard flamingos, troll dolls, billy bass. You know, my work deals a lot with surrealism and, and telling kind of fun, cheeky narratives and playing with the everyday object and kind of bringing a surrealist bent into it. Working with video, I find it challenging to find lighting that mimics what I can do in still photography as well. You know, with still work, you have so much control from your power packs. I can easily adjust things and, and have a lot of flexibility. And up until now, you know, I've been working traditionally with hot lights, with video, and I find it, you know, just difficult to make really snap decisions and, and adjust things and fine tune things. And one of the great things working with this kind of lighting system is the fact that now I can adjust and I can find the same control and, and be able to pinpoint the lighting as much as I do in my still work, I'm now able to do that in my video work. My work is really known for being very high contrast, having a lot of pop and a lot of graphic line and shape. And so to achieve that, I'm using a lighting source that almost emulates the sun. So in this case, I'm using the Q8 Travel for now, and we're positioning that offset. On either side, I'm putting in the matrix lights, and I'm using those to create just a soft fill or maybe a little bit of a highlight on one side. One thing I really liked about the matrix lights was how diffuse the lighting is. Normally, I find myself having to shoot through different things, whether that's a scrim or some kind of silk, but because the matrix has this kind of very soft, diffuse light, it kind of eliminates those things, and it makes setting up a lot more easy. On the Q8 in particular, I really like the way that the Fresnel moves from the brightest point to its darkest point. So whether I'm wide open or I'm pinpointed, there's always this kind of really nice, clean, even fall off from my brightest to darkest point. When I'm on set lighting, I'm going to make a lot of adjustments. What I love about the Felix system is how easily controllable everything is. Whether I want to adjust the hue, the tint, the intensity of the lights, it's all at my fingertips. My transition to video from stills kind of just happened naturally. You know, it started off as me shooting an occasional GIF or a stop motion piece in conjunction with a traditional still assignment. And then as things kept rolling along, it would be like, hey, Dan, can you shoot, you know, this eight second social media spot or can you do this recipe video? And I started shooting more and testing more and I built out a reel. And then um, a few months ago, I actually landed my first national TV spot. What's really cool about shooting video now is the fact that I can tell different stories than what I could tell in my still work. You know, traditionally my work has been very much about being fun and colorful and, and playing with a narrative, but there's a lot to accomplish in one frame and your stories can only be so complex. But when you get into the video world, all of a sudden you're able to 
to tell such bigger stories. And so I found myself having just a lot of fun creatively pushing myself and being able to tell a different narrative. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's been a blast working with Felix. I hope this has inspired you to go out and create something unique.